So anyway, let's film that clip over again, shall we? Evidently, we're going down Commercial Street while the boys park the car. We're in Astoria, Oregon today uh, for 4th of July. We're just walking around. We don't know where we're going. They don't feel comfortable leaving the car where we parked it, so they're moving it. Where to exactly? I don't know. We've got the dog. Hello. Becca. Yeah, so it's going to be a fun day, but yeah, the car situation is funny. Anyway, I'll be back. Sunday, July 4th, Independence Day in the United States. Anyway, we are here obviously on the coast. We're currently in Cannon Beach. We were this morning in Astoria. You saw some clips from there. We hit the Sunday market in Astoria by accident. Found a really great Reiki booth. I bought a few things from her, love her. I'll put her business information down below. She's local to Astoria. Anyway, we had lunch there and now we're in Cannon Beach walking around. No plan for the day, just enjoying the coast and the sunshine. I'll be back. Technically, I can say good morning because it's not quite lunchtime yet, but it is 11.17 a.m. Anyway, it is Monday, July 5th, the day after 4th of July, and uh, Bob is actually off all week this week, so we will be doing more um, dr day driving trips maybe. He's going to work on a few projects here around the house, um, you know, the honey-do list <laughs> um, and stuff like that, and yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, um, Hold on. Okay, water. Anyway, so uh, today um, I think the kids are going to come over because um, it is a three-day holiday. So most people are off today on Monday, uh, including the kids. And so they're going to come over for an early dinner. And then Polyus is flying back to California tonight for work. He and my husband both work now for the same company. So anyway, he's flying back to California for work for the week. And um, so they're going to come over for an early dinner. And in the meantime, I've got a video to edit. I've got to take the SD card out of the camera. I just reminded myself just now. Um, helpful if I have this. Um, I also need to edit the vlog, do the daily post, and put my little bag of goodies from yesterday, uh, trip to the beach, away. And after I get all that done, maybe if I have time, do some drawing. We'll see. All right. So anyway, it's not too warm, at least not yet. We've got the windows open, fans on, enjoying the fresh air while we can before it gets humid and gross again. So, you know. All right. That's it for the minute, I think. I can't think of anything else. I'm going to download the vlog footage from last week so I can get that edited. And I'll hey, be back. Everybody. I can't see if I'm in frame or not. It's way too bright out. 
it is Tuesday, July 6th, I think. Yes. 8.48 or something a.m., just before 9 a.m. We're out for an early morning walk because it's going to be, be, it's going to be, because that's good English, holy cow. It's going to be at least 90 degrees today. And we both wanted to get steps in yesterday. To be honest, we were just lazy and very full of food from Sunday still. And then the kids came over and we barbecued hamburgers and they were huge. They were delicious, but they were gigantic. And by the time everybody went home, we just kind of looked at each other and went, I don't want to get off the couch. <laughs> so we didn't, but we're out walking this morning. And then if it's not too obnoxious later after dinner, as far as heat's concerned, we'll go out again later tonight, but we'll see. But at least- Hey guys. Um, okay, so I came home after getting my hair done and running errands and having lunch <laughs> to creating documents on the computer for my dad for my mom's funeral. She's not passed away yet. That hasn't happened yet, but we're just getting prepared because it's inevitable at this point. It's just a matter of time. Anyway, it's a very surreal process to say the least. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, July uh, 7th. Seven. What time is it? It's uh, 2.24? 2.24 p.m. 2.24, 2.23. Um, so I spent the morning having an art collaboration meeting with Mike Deacon and Bea Grob. And then the rest of the morning was spent working on funeral arrangements for my mom. I told you all, she's not gone yet, but... Um, we are trying to get an advanced uh, amount of work done on things like a list of people that are going to need to be called and all of that stuff that goes, oh, writing obituaries. And anyway, not fun stuff, but it has to be done. So I think we're to a sort of semi-finished point at the moment and because it's not fun stuff and it's not too hot out, I'm like, I'm going for a walk. Do you want to come? And he's off of work this week. So he's coming with me. See? 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 So we're going for a walk. Enjoy the fresh air. It's only in the like mid to high 60s, mm -hmm. which is very much of a bit, big switch from what it's been lately. So uh, we're going to enjoy that and then go home and maybe I'll actually get some art done. Maybe. All right. That's it for the minute. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning, July 8th, I think. It's 11.28 or so a.m. And Bob is off at the doctor getting an annual checkup, which he hasn't done in a bit, so it's overdue. Um, anyway, he's doing that this morning. And meanwhile, I'm at home and... Uh, he's just messaging me that he's waiting to get his blood work done. Um, anyway, I'm at home um, working on laundry and some art projects and things and um, waiting for a new landscaper to come by and look at the irrigation system because we're having issues. And I do think that the mail has come already. There's some truck beeping, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go check on things. I'll be back. morning everybody it is friday morning july 9th 9 15 a.m evidently i left the closets open last night so the um workmen are here this morning working on our front yard irrigation system because it's broken again so anyway we got a pro irrigation guy out and it's a little bit pricey but it's got to be fixed and 
although Bob and I were correct in our assumption about what was wrong with it, um, we're not capable of fixing it on a DIY. It's just, yeah, I mean, we're capable of a lot of things. It's not one of them. So anyway, I, yeah, am at home until they get that done. And then I think we have to go to Costco and maybe Fred Meyer. Uh, I just came upstairs to check on social media. I have got to stop watching House on it, the NBC app. That's just a thing. I watched one episode and now I'm just addicted all over again. <sighs> anyway, all right. I'll okay, be back. So while I'm booting up the computer, I wanted to ask you all, what is your favorite TV show that you've been binge watching lately, especially because of COVID or being locked up? For me, it's anything Star Trek. <laughs> House. And we've been watching Outlander. So, yeah. It's crazy. Anyway, good morning, everybody. Uh, yes, I have things on underneath my eyes. <laughs> they get a little too puffy and a little, the skin gets a little too dry. So I have these like moisturizing like things. I stick on there for like a half an hour. Anyway, you do what you got to do, right? It is Saturday morning, 10, 12 a.m., July 10th. I didn't film much yesterday. It was just a day we spent hanging out around the house, and we, the kids came over for dinner, and we had a good time, but I just didn't feel the need to film any of it, and I didn't even take any pictures on our evening walk or do yesterday's daily art practice or any of that stuff. It was just one of those days. I'll, of course, catch up on all of it today, but... Yeah, it was just a crazy day. Um, it was a good day, though. So, yeah, I spent most of the day editing some old family um, video footage, old 8mm film footage, and um, getting it up on a site where the family can see it. I won't be making any of it public without my dad's permission. Um, that's because that's just all kinds of wrong. Sorry, I'm deleting email while we're talking. Um, but most of my day was spent with doing that. Um, between that and the dinner with the kids. And it was just a simple, easy dinner, pot roast, some potatoes, salad. But it was a good, good family evening. Anyway, um, I was going to tell you all something else, and now I just thought I forgot. I don't remember. <laughs> we were having a discussion last night about how oh, people who say or do things that are uncalled for, irritating. You know, somebody in your life who you know who makes a comment, uh, they don't think anything of. And they don't realize that it's hurtful or disrespectful. And it could be something as simple as, oh, you have a nice house, but I wouldn't paint it that color. Or, oh, yeah, I guess that's a good job. It's too bad you didn't finish college. Something like that. I know you all know somebody like that. And while I don't disagree with the kids that you can't let those comments get to you and you shouldn't let them anger you because that's not about you. It's really about them. I do disagree with the kids that that means you can just let it sort of go and roll off of you and not call them out on it. I'm not saying, of course, start an argument. Again, you don't have to let it get to you because it's not about me. It's about them, the person who made the comment. And the excuse that that's just how I was raised, that's just my generation, um, any of, we've all heard the myriad of excuses. They don't fly with me. There's no reason to be intentionally disrespectful to another human. There really isn't. There is really very little reason to ever do that. Even when somebody is being disrespectful to me, and or talking over me, I will say, excuse me, I'm right here. You can speak to me. You don't need to speak to my husband. 
and I'll say it very calmly and then we can go forward. So we had a little interesting discussion about that last night because I definitely don't agree with not calling people out on the disrespectful behavior and comments. I'm not okay with that. And, you know, sometimes that means I get called out because I don't think about things. I'm not, I'm only human. And, but you know what, call me out on it because I want to be better. It surprises me that others don't want to be better and that others can't think beyond themselves. It just surprises me constantly. So anyway, that was a co interesting conversation last night that we had. I want to show you guys that over the last week, while it's been unusually and ungodly hot in Oregon, we just can't handle that up here. And I know I can't handle it anymore. Um, Sometimes it's too hot to work up here in the art room, although I love my art studio space. Sometimes it's just too hot up here. And we could, of course, run the air conditioner, but yeah, it's just crazy. So anyway, I've um, started taking some things downstairs to work on, especially in the evenings while I'm working, watching TV after I'm done with my daily drawing practice. I made this little set up. I already had the pencil bag with the elastic on it. Now there's lots of different versions of these kind of pencil bags. And if you find a pencil bag or have one that doesn't have elastic, it's pretty easy to just attach a strip of elastic to either of the short ends that's long enough to fit around the journal that you want to fit it on. Um, the journal I'm using is a mixed media journal. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Um, that I stuck some decals on the cover and then covered it with, you can see kind of, I covered it with, there we go, packing tape. And I've been doing some pencil sketches of different things, like this one. I, see, I share them on Instagram. Some of them are things like that. Some of them are just quick people sketches. Some of them are more botanical. And I'm really enjoying that. And I have, because I have this, like this, I can easily just like stick this in my purse or backpack and take it with me if we're going on a drive or something, which is the idea besides taking it downstairs. And um, I'm going to actually put my phone on my little stand and I'll show you what's in the pencil bag and what I did to my Winsor Newton watercolor kit that I also use with in conjunction with this. Um, Oh, hang on. So anyway, in this bag, I have very basic drawing stuff. And this would actually be great for traveling because it's very small. And at the same time, you've got this pen, I've got this pencil pouch. All my tools can fit in here. There is a small zipper pocket here. Uh, I do have a habit of collecting when I'm out and about stickers and decals and, and ticket stubs and stuff. And you could definitely like put them in here to take them home if you're not going to put them like on the cover of your journal right away. Um, it's a very small like travel kit, but this, this would be actually really great to just take this. Um, I do sometimes take a larger setup, but th this would be, I could see me the next time I travel, just take this. All right. So what do I have in here? So I have a variety of drawing pens in black, sepia and gray. And then I also have some white. So I have gray. Is there more? I'm just looking to see, make sure I have everything lined up. Okay. All right, so I have gray. I'm going to need to read the color. I'm going to need my glasses. Hang on. Okay. I really do most of my drawing with a 01. This one happens to be a uni pen, uni pin, sorry, fine line. It's water and fade proof. And um, this is an 01 and it is in color dark gray. It is a very close, if not exact match to Faber-Castell's Pitt Artist Pen in warm gray. This is V274. Um, and I have this one in the 01, and then I have the brush tip in the Faber-Castell. Now I do have an 01 in the Faber-Castell, and I do have a brush tip in this one. I just don't have them in the bag for whatever reason. I have one of each. It's fine. I also have a lighter gray 
This is warm gray 272 in the large um, pit pen brush tip. And I have this in the bag because I didn't have it in a smaller, but those just came in. So I'm actually gonna switch it out. I'm gonna leave the lar large one up here at the art desk. And this is just to make sure, yeah, it's the same same color. So I'm actually going to put the small one in the, in the pencil bag. Um, I am gonna, am I gonna grab the 05? No, I'm not going to. I don't use, I have an 05 I use sometimes. I don't use it that much. I do have one up here. Let's take it out and set it aside, but it's in the same dark gray color. Um, then I like sepia, and so um, sepia is a nice drawing color. These are both, um, this one, the pit one says dark sepia. This one just says sepia. This is another uni pin. This is an 01 fine liner, and this is a brush tip. And yes, I do have the uni pin and the sepia in an 05, so I'm going to grab that one. I'm going to grab this one too. I put the O5s in here. I don't do a lot with them, but it's nice to have the different nib size for different thicknesses of lines when you're drawing. Um, I have plenty at my desk to choose from, so I don't need to worry about not having something at the desk because that's evidently not a problem. I'm looking at my collection right now. It's not a problem. Okay. Um, we have black, of course. I have both, again, the pit pen and the um, uni pin, uh, both in black. I've got an 01. I have a medium, which is similar to an 05 in tip size. It's actually a little bit bigger than the 05. It's a little bit bigger. I'll show you. You can see there. But it's a good size nib, so I just like to have, again, the different thickness size. So I'm gonna leave that one in the bag. Now, again, I have some white pens in here. And, okay, I do have two of these. Where's the other one? Is it on the desk somewhere? It's possible. Um, one should be up here at the desk, but I don't know where it is at the moment. Anyway, this is a big brush pen um, in, from Pitt. It's, um, just got this big kind of mangled nib. <laughs> and then I have the thinner one. I'm sorry, this isn't a brush tip. It's just a big giant pit pen, but the nib is kind of mangled. And then I have a white um, Univol Signo uh, broad gel, white gel pen. Uh, number two pencil, an eraser, and a few water brushes. And then I have um, just a simple Winsor Newton Cotman um, watercolor kit. It's a 12 pound kit um, with just basic colors in it. Now what I did do is I took the spot where the brush usually sits, which I don't use because they use the water brushes. And I took some hot glue and I put some blobs of hot glue in a couple spaces to make three additional wells so that I could add a purple, a Payne's gray and a black. Now this col this set is really great. It has great basic colors, a good mixing set, a good basic starter set. Um, and I do enjoy using it. And it, the case is really small and it fits in the pencil bag, but I'm constantly mixing purple. I get tired of that. And I get tired of trying to mix a dark gray um, or black type color. And you all know, I like working with Payne's gray. So it's a dark, super dark, like bluish black color. And I just get tired of trying to mix a black or something. So I pulled some watercolor tubes out of my collection and added these three colors. And now it's the perfect kit for me. And made a color key and it fits in there and it all fits in my pencil bag. And I can take it downstairs easy peasy. So that works for me. All right, I guess I better clean off my desk now and find that other big pen because I do have two of these and the other one should be sitting here at the desk and it's not. Why isn't it? I don't know. I'll be back. Found it. It was downstairs. I do also want to show you all <laughs> something I think you're going to think is funny. If you have pets, 
<laughs> or destructive young children, I guess, in your life. This will be very familiar. So last night, grand dog Lily was playing and she was kind of being a little quiet. And I guess we weren't paying attention right away. And finally, someone looked over and she uh, disemboweled her monkey. <laughs> so we got all the stuffing put back in and um, the squeaker, I think, is back in there. Yeah. Um, so now grandma's got to sew it back up. So that's one of my projects today. I will put a picture here somewhere of what the floor looked like when we caught it, because Becca did get a picture, but yeah, <laughs> she does this occasionally. <laughs> she does love the monkey. She was very upset that I took it away to repair it. She really wanted to keep destroying the monkey. So anyway, <laughs> all right, I'll be back. So I am headed out in the car to go run a couple of quick errands. I need to go get some office supplies and staples, and I need to go by Michael's really quick. I'm out of the little tags um, that I make the mixed media recipe cards out of, or nearly out of them, and I want to go get some more. So I'm going to go do both of those. They're literally like down the street from each other, so if I'm going to do one, it just makes sense to go do the other one too. So that's what we're going to do. There's some garage sales going on today, but I, honestly, I don't really need anything, so we're not going to do that. Okay, so I already kind of closed the vlog, but we decided then to go out for a walk. Yes, yeah, so you, as you can see, it's dark out. It's like 9.30 at night or 9 o'clock at night or... 10 to 10. Okay, 10 to 10. Anyway. Oh, well. Here's me just a little bit earlier watering the house plants. And closing the vlog. I'm gonna go get some steps in. I'll see y'all next week. Bye guys. Hey guys, it's nine o'clock at night on Saturday. July 10th, I think. I don't know. I vlogged already today. I have no idea. Uh, anyway, end of the day, end of the week, end of the vlog. <laughs> it's been a good day. Just chill. Not doing too much. Of course, I did go out and run a couple of quick errands, but um, I also got caught up on my daily practice from yesterday and today. I got another sketch done in my new little um, sketch journal that I showed earlier. And... Um, just got done watering the house plants and all of that stuff. If you hear background noise, husband's watching a movie, so I will try to make this quick. Anyway, if you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube, I sure would appreciate it. You can become a Patreon member and um, get access to me in um, RD chit chats and uh, tutorials and free downloads and all kinds of stuff. The occasional piece of snail mail from me. Um, or you can be a member of the YouTube community here on my channel on, face on YouTube. Uh, you can also shop in the Etsy shop, and right now there's a sale going on. Um, summer 2021, I believe, is the discount code. I'll put it down below, and it's 30% off all physical merchandise in the store, not digital downloads, physical merchandise only. I'm trying to reduce some inventory. Anyway, it's all on sale. Uh so get, your, get it today while supplies last. Going forward, things will be made on demand only um, and or quantities of things will be limited. So anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment or question down below. I'd love to hear from you. I do reply to all my YouTube comments. And wow, get creative. Go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.